Hi, Rising Church. Hope you guys are doing well and you're off to a great start here in your first session of Groves. Uh, hopefully you've already had a chance to get to know each other a little bit better, sharing your name and what you do. Uh, maybe you've played a game or you've shared dinner together. Um, I'm really excited about this, this next season of Groves, and I really hope that you will do everything you can to make them as successful as possible. And so as we start off this session, I just wanted to give you three, uh, what I would call choices, three, three choices that I want you to make, deliberately make, choose to make, in order to make Groves um, the best that they can be. Uh, and the first one is this. I just want you to choose to see each other as family. Uh, if you're at Rising a couple weeks ago, we talked about in the book of James how James refers to us constantly as brothers and sisters. And, and the idea is that we would see one another not as complete strangers, not as just people that you're attending uh, the show with, but you would see each other as family, as, as brothers and sisters, that you are invested in one another. Um, and so I really want you to, to make that conscious choice saying, hey, look around the room, even right now, go ahead, look around and say, you're my brother and you're my sister. Uh, go ahead, try it out. All right, good job. Uh, I don't want you just to say that, though. I want you to mean it. I, like When you look around the circle, I want you to start consciously, maybe not the first week, it'll be hard, but over time, to really seek to see each other as brothers and sisters. Um, and I want you to know right from the get-go in week one, know that someone in your family, someone in your grove, is going to annoy you. Let's just be honest. Somebody out there, what they say, how they say it, whatever, whatever it is, it's just not going to mesh, right? And so you're not going to, you're going to just have to see them as your little brother and sister who annoys you. Uh, and that's okay because the truth is you're that annoying little brother or sister to someone else. Uh, just like someone annoys you, you annoy somebody else. Uh, and that's all part of being a family. I mean, can any of you guys, any of you come from a family where all the brothers and sisters got along all the time and never annoyed each other? Yeah. I didn't think so. Um, and so I want you to start seeing each other as brothers and sisters. Even if someone there annoys you, it's okay. It's learning to love one another despite our BO, despite our differences, despite uh, that someone in the crowd may, may annoy you. And that's kind of all part of it. So uh, the first thing I want you to do is choose to see Grove as family. Choose to see Rising Church as family. See these people as your brothers and sisters. Um, the second thing I want to ask you to do is choose to make Grove a safe place. You know, we talked about this idea that you, we need to have a place where we can call on one another, where we can confess to one another, where we can pray for one another, and we want growth to be that kind of environment. And the only way that's going to happen is if we make it a safe place. Uh, and with that in mind, I would say what is said in Groves stays in Groves because the idea is that we should be able to open up and kind of, you know, share our, our issues, acknowledge our problems, you know, say, hey, I'm struggling or I, or I have BO uh, in this area and I could use your support, I could use your prayers. And that means that we need to be able to trust one another. And that does happen over time, but I want you to create an environment that is safe so that people can feel that way, where you can feel that way, uh, where you can lean on one another, you can support one another, um, and ultimately you can pray for one another. So I want to ask you to choose to make your grove a safe place, a place where you can come and share what's going on and, and open up. Uh, and that's going to take all of you being a little bit vulnerable. So I want to ask you to choose to do that. Um, and the last thing I just wanted to ask you to choose to grow. Uh, you know, it's, it's beautiful out here right now, and, and we talk about grows being a place that where you can grow with each other, with one another, where your roots can, can start to dig into one another. And so I want you to choose to make grow a place where you're going to grow, not just socially, uh, where you're going to get to know your, your brothers and sisters, but a place where you're going to go spiritually as we dive into the Bible. Um, and as you probably know, we're, we're tackling what may be a controversial subject. We may be, some people may think we're a little nuts by trying to tackle this. Uh, we're, we're looking at Revelation. And we're going to be doing the study not only in your growth, but also on Sunday mornings as we really try to dive into what is this book talking about? Why, why did God give us the end of the story ahead of time? Why did he do that? What does that show us about God? Uh, what are all these little details that people tend to get hung up on? And is that really what we need to focus on? Or do we need to focus on the big picture of what God is trying to communicate to us? Uh, as his sons and daughters when it comes to the times that we're living in. Um, and so I just want to ask you to come anticipating, wanting, desiring to grow. And, and I would challenge you to come on Sunday mornings because in our grows, we're going to be doing what I would call sermon-based uh, grows, which means some of it's going to be based on what we talked about on Sunday morning, but it's also going to be additional content that may come in the form of a video. It may come in the fact that just, hey, you guys read this passage and here's some questions to, to talk about. Uh, we're going to try to hit Revelation from all kinds of different angles. And, and I just think that this is an appropriate time to dive into the book of Revelation because we live in uncertain times. 
And as we're going to talk about in coming weeks, so did the people who the book of Revelation is written to. Uh, and it was written to give them assurance, to give them confidence, to give them hope, despite what was going on in the world. And I know right now for us, with the election looming, with Hillary and Donald and, and all that mess, uh, with ISIS and terrorism, with the economy, that we can feel like, man, we are living in uncertain times. And, and how should our faith impact that, as we've been talking about in James? Um, and so the question that we want to talk about and we want to discuss and we want to, to kind of get our heads around over the next couple months is how should we as believers live right now in our current present situation based on the fact that God has told us the future and he's given it to us in the past. Uh, so the idea is how do we live in the present based on our future that God has told us in the past. Uh, and that's kind of where we're going. That's the angle we're going to hit it at starting next Sunday morning. Uh, so I just want you to come to Groves desiring to grow, choosing to grow, saying, I, I want to, to grow in my faith, not necessarily my knowledge of the nitty gritty details of what Revelation is all about, but I want to grow in my confidence, in my assurance, in the hope that he gives us through the book of Revelation. So I don't want to give too much away because we're going to unpack this again over the coming weeks. But I want you to come again, choosing in your grow, choosing to see each other as family, choosing to make it a safe place, and choosing to be a place where you want to grow. Uh, so I'm excited about this semester. I hope you're excited for the next couple months here, uh, again, as we grow together and as we grow in our, in our knowledge and our faith uh, of what Jesus has accomplished for us. So uh, I hope, again, you're off to a great start. We'll see you next Sunday morning where we're going to start this whole thing off and next week uh, as we started in growth. So thanks for coming. We'll see you next week.